something fishy is going on in Alabama's Wheeler Lake. But these fish aren't dead. They've just been temporarily stunned. Generally speaking, it's they recover uh, within you know, a few seconds to up to a couple minutes. Biologists are using a method known as electrofishing to conduct an extensive study of the fish in Tennessee Valley Authority lakes, hoping to shed more light on these natural habitats. The pole and cables hooked to the boat's generator give off a weak electric current that temporarily incapacitates the fish. Next, they float to the surface, where a team on the boat can assess them. We're going to weigh and measure the fish. We're going to check them for disease and parasites. By looking at the overall health and condition of the fish that we collect, we can tell about, a lot about what's going on with the fisheries. The fish are released back where they were found, and researchers say they rarely suffer any lasting effects from electrofishing. Yeah. Still, for local fishermen, most bass I ever caught. It's quite a sight to see dozens of zombie-like bass eerily rising from the lake. They pull in some three to four pounder regular, and we uh, all day we may catch three or four that size, you know. Nine area anglers went along for the ride, hoping to learn a bit more about their local lakes. There's a lot of fish in here, a lot more fish, a lot bigger fish than I thought were in here, and I fish down here quite a bit. A learning experience for all involved. Maggie Mazzetti, Associated Press.